Welcome to this James the Bike Guy, where we check out a Belgian endurance road bike. Something that you probably don't see every day, however, it's a pretty neat rig. That's right, in front of us is the Ridley Phoenix SL. This is their endurance road bike, and we're gonna go into the features and designs of this bike, talk about the frame and some of the cool features about it, go over the part spec, and then of course we're gonna find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, be sure to sit back and enjoy the video and hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. Beginning to check out this bike, Ridley is a name that, at least here in the United States, you may not be as familiar with, but is certainly a much more well-known brand once you get overseas into Europe and the like. And Ridley is a brand out of Belgium making all sorts of cross bikes and road bikes like this and are well known for their aero bike, the Noah, and this Phoenix as their endurance and cobblestone bike. So if you think about European racing, at the beginning of the season is usually the Spring Classics, which is well known for being on roads that are broken up, covered in cobblestones, things like that. And being a bike designed for the Spring Classics, it goes up against the most major brands such as the Trek Domani, the Specialized Diverge, and bikes like that that are well known for doing well on rough conditions. The frame is really what's gonna help this bike perform in those bad conditions, and there's a couple of neat things to talk about here. So the frame is gonna be made from 30 to 24 ton unidirectional carbon fiber, which is a fancy way of saying they're gonna have several different types of carbon inside of here to get the feel that they want out of the bike. Of course, internal cable routing, it runs a tapered head tube to a 30 ton carbon fiber fork. This fork has a little bit of a recurve shape to it, which should help with some of the reaction and the stiffness out of the front end, of course, through axle. But when you go to the down tube, this is something that Ridley is well known for, is this almost diamond shaped down tube. So as we go through, it's got a bit of a, a diamond shape to it, which helps with stiffness. And then you go up top, you've got that strong front end, a BB86 press fit bottom bracket, and it ties together with a seat tube that's divorced from the seat stay and the top tube. And if we pull back for a moment, take a look at that top tube. Top tube has a little bit of a bow in it, which is designed to allow some vertical flex out of the front end of the bike, divorce seat tube and seat stay. And then the seat stay itself is really neat because it's ovalized shape. So this is oval, it's very wide side to side and super slender up and down. And from what I understand is that allows a little bit of forgiveness and flex, but stiffness side to side to keep with the strength and the reaction of the bike. Now it is a standard inch and an eighth connection for your stem and controls up top. And then out back is a 27-2 seat post, which with that smaller diameter should help keep things comfortable. And you do run a 12 millimeter by 142 through axle and back. Jumping into the components on this particular rig, this is the Phoenix SL 105. So you know it, it's got 105 shifters and drivetrain. So in the back here, we've got the 105 11 speed drivetrain. So this has 11 gears out back and two speeds up front. You've got a Shimano RS front crank set with a 50-34 chainring combination. Of course, a 105 derailleur. And that goes through to the back through a KMC chain to a Shimano 105 rear derailleur and an 11 to 30 tooth cassette. So 11 to 30 tooth cassette should give some good climbing gear range for this rig. And up top where the controls sit on the bike, it's of course a hydraulic set of Shimano 105 shift and brake levers. It's mechanical shift. However, it is a hydraulic mineral oil brake system that's on here. So it operates two piston Shimano 105 calipers on 160 millimeter rotors. Cockpit wise, we're all aluminum using some Forza components. So this is an alloy handlebar. It does operate a little bit more short and shallow reach and drop to the handlebar. You've got an alloy Forza stem 31.8 bar clamp and then in back is a Forza saddle mounted up on an alloy two bolt adjustable Forza aluminum seat post. And finally this bike is rolling on some Shimano RS171 rims. These are a nice wide disc specific rim. It of course is laced up j spokes to Shimano front and rear hubs with a direct mount rotor interface and these wheels are running some Vittoria Safiro tires. This is a 700 by 25 millimeter wide tire. The bike itself can take up to a 28 millimeter clearance. You can see it is a little bit more on the snug side compared to some of the other endurance road bikes, but certainly with a 25 and the frame components put together, it should make for a nice comfortable ride. The actual weight, 
of the Phoenix SL Disc 105 is going to come in and weigh 18.52 pounds. Thanks so much for watching this video on the Ridley Phoenix SL. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Would you pick this over some of the larger, more established brands here in the US for an endurance road bike? And where do you see this thing fitting in? Go ahead and leave all those comments down below. Can't wait to hear what you think.